We are here at Terrace de Comporta Golf Club, which is rumoured to be the Pinehurst of Europe and is apparently an absolutely stunning golf course. And I'm saying this with an air of mystery because nobody has ever played here before. And I'm excited and honoured to be the first ever golfer to play a full 18 here. Thank you so much for being with me for this round. It's gonna be fantastic. Literally, whatever happens today, we're gonna to have the course record, but I don't know what this course is actually like, apart from it being unbelievable. So we're gonna set some score goals. I'm gonna award myself a gold medal for anything at level par and below, anything from 72 to 75, I'll give myself a silver medal, and anything from 76 to 80 will have a bronze. Anything after that, well, I don't get anything. And here we are, the first hole. Something which is pretty interesting about this course and something I don't think any of us have come across before, there's no scorecard yet. So we don't know what the paths of the hole are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zap all the pins off the tee and then see if I think it's a par four or a par five. Also, none of these holes have been named, so get down into those comments below and let us know what you would call these holes from one to 18. Some of the bits we've seen in this course so far, you are gonna be absolutely stunned. 420 yards, par four. So I'm thinking line-wise, there's a big bunker in the middle of the fairway about 320 away. I'm into wind a bit, so I'm not gonna reach it. First tee shot hit on this hole. Let's make it a good one. Oh, it is as well. Go on then, carry, carry, carry. Thank you, thank you. The crowd goes absolutely wild. I think you'll find that is the first ever fairway in regulation hit at the Dunas course. So as we go around the course, you'll notice that there's some points that haven't quite bedded in. Like I said, it's a few months away from opening. Also, the front nine of this course has been laid down later than the back nine. So the back nine looks like it's been, to be honest, there for about 6,000 years. So a decent drive, 135 yards into this hole. What a beautiful morning. Man, guys, I just want to say thank you for joining us on this adventure. This is going to be awesome. Pitching wedge, unblemished fairway. Wow, I pulled that a long way. Be all right, I think. Uh, you'll notice as we go around this course that the greens are absolutely gigantic. Have a guess how big the third green is and I can guarantee you will get it wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, a momentous moment here at Comporta. I'm about to replace the first ever divot. like stepping onto a beautiful carpet. The guys are saying, so this is uh, one of the fun things they've been doing, one of the fun things they've been battling against is this is a bent grass, which is hard to kind of grow in Southern European climates apparently, but they've, they've managed it. I mean, they do look absolutely unbelievable. I am pin high, first approach shot, which has ever been pin high. <laughs> These greens look really quick, but I reckon like when these are properly like double mowed and rolled, these could be super nippy. Now I've got my new putter in the back. It's downhill, left to right. Oh, I'm not ashamed to say that that is the first ever lag putt seen at Comporta Dunes. That was very unaggressive. However, mark me down. As a par, that is a decent start. Look at the stitching on this. Jacob, come around into the sun. Look at the fine stitching going on here. Ooh. Second on. Second hole is a par five, judging by what is happening on the drone. It's a massive sweeping dog leg from right to left and it's a risk reward hole so we've got these trees on the left which sit on the dog leg greens are over there somewhere so the line is basically between the trees and that last bunker and the fairway all falls down after that what day what an experience what a privilege i just don't hit anything Oh, 
I went over the top of the dog leg rather than the right of it, but I didn't hear it. Anyone hear anything? I don't know. I didn't zap the carry, but I struck that really well. So fingers crossed. If not, I'm going to be showing you some of the famous waste areas here. We're going to be on one soon, so I might as well be now. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think we're on for a gold medal today. 540 yard par five. I got 160 yards left in. Now, some would argue that that's because I unwittingly cut out half of the hole with a massive pull. You'd be right. I've got a wedge in because I'm a bit downwind and I reckon that's a bit of a fly alive. Par five. Can we walk off with an early eagle? Did the first golf to do that? Oh, please be good. Please be good. I don't know. What is it? What do you mean short? short? Like three foot short? Five, no, like really short. Like really short? Yeah. What do you mean really short? Mr. Green short. What do you mean Mr. Green short? That can't be short. I think you might be the first cameraman to need glasses at Comporter. That's what I reckon. That can't be short, can't be. Kieran. What? What is it? That's pin eye. It's pin eye. That is pin eye, right? I thought I saw something short of the green. It's fine. Listen, we're all excited. Sun's out. Make sure you drink pl plenty of water. Yeah. Stay hydrated. Got all day, yeah? When's it, when's it opening? October? I don't know if it's just, I don't know if it's wearing sunglasses or not, but I can't quite. <laughs> it looks different with them on and off. I think it's straight. I mean, as far as like leaving myself an eagle putt with the first ever eagle at this golf course, that's a pretty straightforward one. Oh, I pulled it. I pulled it. I'm not going to lie. I pulled it. But that settled in the bottom of the cup. Mark it down in the history books. First eagle achieved on the second hole at the Junas course at Comporta. I have a plaque. Guinness World Record plaque. Right there. So this course is a Dave McClay kid design and a lot of his other courses feature this kind of thing, this wild kind of waste bunker areas. What's really cool about this course though, and I'm, it's obviously early stages, so I'm not sure if you can see it, Kieran, as you kind of go past Jacob here. So this is the back tees and it meanders all the way up there. So it's like a sinuous line, which then feeds into the fairway at the front of this par three, which is 200 and 50 yards off the backs, back into a little bit of wind. So we've got the three wood, gonna hit a little feathery cut. And how big is this green? Can I remember? 60 meters long. Wow. Right. Go on then. Go, it's not cutting. Oh, let's go back the other way. Well, it's time to head down into the waste. <laughs> See what's going on. Oh, I just didn't cut. Ah, oh dear. We're in the waste. They're going to be growing like these bushes and something I've noticed. Did you notice yesterday, like all the bushes, the planting, uh, the like everything scented. Got lavender, yeah, thyme. I'm sure it's the reason why, but it's almost like they're going for a visual sensory extravaganza and it's working let me tell you hopefully this will work i have got a really long bunker shot out of the waste area now waste area usually can ground your club i think it may be a 54 degree sandwich here so i don't have to swing quite as hard testing out a few wedges today as well not bad not great but not bad at least it gives yourself a chance of a par i was like this a bit do you remember when we played uh yes acres mm. so it's like a new course giddy. bit giddy a bit like nervous a bit like on edge I feel, I feel a bit like that it's just a very unusual thing to have literally the entire probably what will be one of the best courses in europe like to ourselves it's kind of weird a little bit left to right as it moves up the slope now oh, this would be a hell of a par on this turn damn ah oh, par eagle bogey i'm going to throw this out there and this may be a controversial opinion i don't think i'm going to be the only golfer who bogeys that far.
420 pin on the fourth. We've just come forward from the back back. So again, you can see more of this course design. You can see how it's like meant to be bedded into the environment. So all the forest around here, it's all pine and then like really sandy based. I can't imagine there being much thick rough here. I <laughs> think it's just gonna be sand and then grass. That's it, that's all we've got. All right, so drive straight down the middle, short that bunker, which is like three, 20 away into wind. Pretty good. Yep. Be down there, just short of that bunker. Just love this course. Absolutely love it. So cool. Now, second thoughts is like fairway runs out here, but there's actually like a hidden second fairway up there, which I'll remember for next time. But we've only got 120 left in, just in the semi. It's gonna go little wedge. I can see this being a really good shot. Everything's framed so nicely, so inviting. That'll do. Everything looks just so nice. Might even leave the flag in for this one. I don't know, crazy, right? How nice it just, it's that quiet as well. It's like literally no one here. Right, this is going back to two. Come on, I want that gold medal. Oh. Ah. Well, it's a par, bit of an aggressive par. These greens, they're rolling obviously so pure, there's no one mid on them, but when they've been cut and rolled, they are just gonna be so fast. You can, you can see how they'll have some fun with some of the pin positions here as well. Like if the pins back here can like roll in off these banks. It's gonna be a special play. Oh dear. What a beautiful hole, par four. 440-ish yards, but it's left to right up the hill. The line for me is this bit on the left and that wild bunkering cuts in the further up you go. Now, I can clear that with a 270 drive, so it's all about giving it the beams. A little bit like that. Wow, it's gone through the fairway. Just in the semi rough to the other side. The thing is, like playing back in the UK for the last three months, you forget. It flies further over here, doesn't it? No, no wind and rain smashing in your face. It's about 380 off the backs. Judging by this, it's like a, a 290 drive. You're liking this course? Yeah, it's good. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it ain't really cool. Um, got 80 yards in, just in the semi, so I'm going to get loads of stop. Three quarter lob wedge. That all sounds too cocky, but a seven under's not off the cars today. Uh, I may have been too cocky. <laughs> you can edit that out though, right? And we don't we don't need to put that in though, right? Maybe maybe six under. Maybe six under. I don't get too big for my boots. Well, from 80 yards, I'm I'm not gonna pretend like that was my best wedge shot. These greens are massive. <laughs> so big. New putter looking resplendent. Well, good pace, good pace. It's a good sign. Maybe eight unders on you know. I think I'm just gonna go on a burn now. Yeah. Is the next that incredible par three? Stay tuned, because the next is an incredible par three. Now look at this hole. So this is what I mean about this sinuous teeing ground so we're off the backs here 175 goes down and down and down and it all blends into the hole it's beautiful really really is more wild bunkering you can see the side of these greens just yet to bed down when, when we get into the back nine you'll notice the difference between when the courses were laid down 100 percent right seven nine this wind's kind of into off the right so lay it a fade it should hold up first hole in one on this hole be nice one That'll do. That'll do. Boys, you're in for a good score today. I tell you, once that foot in, once you just get rolling it in, 10 under, 10 under. All right, no pressure. 
got a crowd. Straight up the hill, slightly right to left. Go on, Tubal. This is where you excel. Just goes to show, like, no matter how beautiful the course, how incredible the surroundings, and how serene the feeling of inner calm may be, golf can still be. Four hundred and forty yards. This one, I can zap all the way down to the pin, but. It's like 40 yards downhill adjusted for the slope. That bunk in the middle of the fairway, I'll carry that easy. It's 280 to carry the second one. This is just a smash it, carry over everything, get right down by the green. Come on, 10 under, that's the target. It's absolutely massive. Now it's gonna be 340 easily. We're on mate, we are on. We are on for a low one today. I need your positivity. Smash that like button and it will help me get birdies. It is a fact, proven YouTube fact. That was, yeah, that was big. So yeah, probably three, 340, 350. Like as the round develops, we'll have to see, but there is a pattern here where it was like 280, 290 to cover that bunker. And once it covers, it's all gonna kick down, literally reach the very edge of the fairway. And it's just left with like an 80 yard flick in. So very risk reward in many respects. I think if it firms up, obviously stuff a bit shorter, probably would have kicked through this fairway, might have been down in that bit. So yeah, interesting. And look at this for a backing, by the way, for a green. Stunning, so cool. So I've only got 76, big with a lob wedge last time. So just half swing, just land this short of the pin, one bounce, in she goes. bad these wedges feel really good i think i'm ripping a bit of cover off the ball as i hit but downhill a little bit right to left let's see how many people hit the like ah oh, thank you my word oh i think you'll find we're gonna need another title screen here, Kieran. First player to birdie this hole. Two under, 10 under. It's back on the cards. I think, I think this next one drivable as well. I think it's a risk reward hole on the next little par four. Eighth hole and off the back tees, this is a cracker of a risk reward. So. You've got six different team grounds on every hole and it's 300 yards to carry the lip of the bunker at the front. It's a little bit downwind, but you've got more tee boxes. So whichever one you play off, depending on your ability, you'd have a chance at having a go at this green. Obviously, if you miss, there's a deep bunker. You've got bunkers on the left as well for like that layup. We ain't laying up. We are smashing the driver here. Oh my God, be good. It is right at the flag. It is literally right at the flag. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, who likes Comporter? Do you like Comporter? Jacob, you a fan? You a fan of Comporter? Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was in the top 10. That was, yeah, that was, I think that was pretty high. I'd say top four yeah. from today, I think. That might, if that had bounced forward, that actually could be really close. Wow. Lifting out, we were, we were only a bounce and a roll away from heading straight into Lisbon. No, no more golf this trip, boys. As it is, it's left me with a rather tricky putt. Um, up the slope, which is gonna move it right. And I think it straightens up at the end. Maybe even going a little bit back to the left. Mostly about pace on this one. Uh, so, so.
Oh, right. Just a, can you feel it? Can you feel it? That momentum building. It's like that. I'm, I'm just like a shire horse. Pretty big, a little bit cumbersome. But like once I get going, just can't stop me. You know what I mean? Nothing's going to stand in my way. Eight under. That's what I'll go for. So I don't actually know how far this is apart from, I believe it's a par four because it's like a 300 yard carry into the middle of the fairway across the waste area. And then it's a dog leg up to the right hand side. So as long as I clear the waste area, it should be, should be decent. Just look at it. Sorry, I was going off piece for a second. Look at the size of these things. I'm not sure I've ever seen a pine cone this big before. The size of that. Do you think like when they get sorted, like these could be the T markers? That'd be all right, wouldn't it? I want to have a little experiment. There we go. Should we take the rope? No. What, set up every T on yeah. them? Yeah. See, we should. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Let's set them up every, every shot. There we go. Look, it does look nice, doesn't it? Look at it. I suppose I could spray them as well. Gold ones, silver ones. What? So drive a little straight at the crane. Tell you what. I'm hitting this driver. Fantastic. Really, really am. I don't want, I don't want to get an inferiority complex. So we'll, we'll search around and we'll get them matching. 140 yards. So it's just a smooth wedge up the hill. Pin looks like it's on the left of the green. It's going to go straight at it. I'm just feeling confident. I was looking at you like you had the drone then, Kieran. I was like, where's it gone? I've got a case of like the tiniest pulls. Everything's just finished slightly left. Quite average, that shot. There's a wide green, this. What's in surface is a huge. Left to right, kind of up the slope. Let's finish off this nine with another birdie. Let's get it to four under par on the front nine. Like, I'm always a back nine player as well, so. This back nine as well. You good, yeah. If you think that the front nine was good, for me, the back nine just looks even better. It's absolutely stunning. Ah. Ah, that was, a, was an okay putt. A little fiddler left though. It's not inside a putter length. Near bother. Right, front nine is complete with a score of three under par. What are you thinking of this course so far? But honestly, this back nine, it's just more bedded in than the front, and it is special. Now, if you think this is a stunning hole, uh, strap yourself in, because this is literally the back nine. It's like the front, just a bit more bedded in, and a real insight to what the whole course is gonna look like. Par four from these T markers, and it's just a blast. Straight down the fairway, I've probably got enough to cover most of the waste area on the left. Big open fairway once we're down there. I'm driving it pretty well so far. And it continues. I must admit, when I first started using this driver, there was a lot of hate out there. You guys were piling in on the Stell 2 Plus, but put some respect on its name now. It's coming through. That for me is one of the coolest features of this course still. So you can see it so clearly from here where you've got the fairway and it just runs into the teeing grounds. So the teeing grounds, there, it looks like fairway, but they're, they're one and the same. I think that's just like a really cool design feature. Maybe I'm just sad. Maybe I just like grass. You know what? I don't care what you think. I love it. So there, mm, 120. <laughs> 120 yards into this hole. I think this might be quite close. We'll get a long shot. Ah, oh, pulled it again. Come off that slope. Spin. Meant it. I always like this about, you know, my knowledge of a golf course, how you can use all the slopes. It's also quite funny there because I literally just look past back you, Kieran, and thought, oh, I hope we're not holding anyone up on the tee. That is not an issue. Empty course. Never ever been on empty course. Oh yeah. We were discussing on the way down. I think the back nine greens have been trimmed down a little bit. I think these are gonna be a little bit quicker. Flag's coming out again. Like how we use this slope, mate? 
Lovely, yeah. Was that mm. planned, yeah? No, oh, yeah, yeah. Of course it was. Of course, of course it was planned. Listen back to the video. Me and Kieran talked it all through. We're oh, saying, there, you see, so. oh no, that's what me and Kieran were saying. If I pulled it a bit, you can use this slope, bring it back down. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're a good putter. 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 Go away, fly. You're a good putter. You're a good putter. You're a good putter. You're a good putter. Want to talk about that early? Ah, uh, you know, no, no. I don't. I don't think we need to talk about that at all. I think we can tap in, and then I think we can move on. What a beautiful hole. Par, still three under. Kieran, I know it doesn't seem likely, but eight under is still on here. Still on, mate. Still on. I think we've come up with a bit of a problem with our pine cones. We need a fat base. Maybe if we like chop the bottom off them. Yeah, this one's good. Good, good solid base. Rigidity, yeah. strength, girth. girth, lot of girth there. 430, sorry boys. Driver basically at that bunker you can see because I don't think we're going to get there today. So fairway opens up a little bit. Come on driver, you have been a superstar today. Just cut a touch more. Yeah, I'll be all right. Just on the left, I'm 90% I'm sure it opens up down there, so it's great strike again. I think having the face pop out of the last one might have been the best thing that ever happened. This new one is just hat, hat, hat. 133, just in the left semi. It's very, very fluffy over here. Like a, you could lay down in this and have a nice nap. But a wedge in my hands. I've been pulling these a little bit, but not now. Well, it's going just left of the pin without much fade. Still okay though, I think. I think that'll be about a pin eye. Very, very fluffy. Look, do you want to look at the root structure of this grass? Come, come, come on here. Let's have a look at this. I think it's being held together pretty well there. There's a lot of tension in there. Just needs a little bit more growth. You can see it's just not quite sticking through there. But as far as turf goes, yeah, it passes the stroke test. Some deep chloroform going on there. A lot of conversion there from sunlight energy. It's good grass. Ah. Ah. Pace was okay. Just need a few more birdies just to get this round. Keep it ticking over. These pars are grey, like, I'm happy, but just need that little bit more. Ah. You know what else we need a little bit more of? Subscribers, over 50% of you currently watching this video aren't subscribed. The more subscribers we get, the more amazing places we can come visit to film at. So if you haven't already, hit that button, become part of the community. That would be so. had like a tour of the course last night. This is a huge dog leg, left to right. And I think the first real tee shot here where there's a bit of like an optical illusion. So if you have a look down here, the tee obviously ends and then it just goes into wasteland, which is raised higher than the level of the fairway. So it looks like you're just hitting into infinite sand. But beyond that far lit, which is only about 210 away, that's where it kind of opens up into fairway. So I like stuff like this because it kind of makes you doubt yourself a little bit. Like it doesn't give you something exact to aim for. So you've got to pick out like one of the trees in the background. Fortunately, there's a few of them, so we should be okay. This is grown on me, you know, the pine cones. I think we still, I think we've got something there. Yeah, pretty good. Slightly high off the face, so might have got caught up in the wind a bit, but it's enough to clear all the trouble. Can you smell that? Let's drive off the deck time. Officially my best shot. The ball is above the, my feet, 270 yards. Pin looks like it's on the left of the green. We're all expecting a good shot. <sighs> I 
That was a shame. All right, let's go find it, play it again. Oh, I think it's said that even the best laid plans never survive first contact with the enemy. And that enemy happened to be a pristine fairway and the contact happened to be awful. So I've left myself with 220 yards into the wind. Lie's actually not too bad. I've kind of avoided that thing, whatever that is. I can't get home with the four iron. I'm thinking a three wood. I'm just thinking if a three wood's going to get up quick enough to get over that bush, what do you reckon? But I'm thinking it's going to get high enough to at least penetrate through and get back to the fairway, if nothing else. And in fact, if I'm being honest with you, like the actual line of the hole is there. Yeah, so I can start it. So it's not so much the bush which is the issue, it's that tree. <laughs> so I need to go to the right of the bush, raise it just above the limb of that tree, get it heading down towards the green, roll in for a birdie. Love it. Wow. What just happened there? Was that like universally the best shot you've ever seen in your life? How did it come out that high? Did that get to the green? Did you see it? Did it get there? I mean, yeah. I'll take it. I'm not a chip yet. This is my first chip of the day. And I'm fuming. Par five, but I've got to go up and down for a par. Or I could chip in. I'm even pulling my chips. <laughs> How does that work? Oh, Jacob, is that pin eye though? Yeah, pin eye. Sound of quality ball striker. I think we all know that though. It's a green. If anything, it's going to move a little bit left to right. So I'm just going to go left center. First round with this new putter. It's been okay so far. So over this kind of distance where we want to see those saves. Nope. It was left to right. Talk yourself into it and it's straighter. That's a bogey on a par five. Damn. That is a real shame. That drops me back to a two under. Thirteenth hole. This, this has got to be up there for signature hole, you'd say. I think this, the next par three, the next par five, and then the par four after that, I think they're all like signature contenders. We are 430 yards away, but it's only playing 380, which is going to indicate there's a little bit of a slope on this hole. Uh, but what a hole it is. This is just stunning. And I think what you can see here in my humble course design opinion is obviously a brand new layout, but it's actually sitting like into the landscape. It doesn't look like it's too manufactured. It looks like it's been there for a long time when in fact it's been there for no time at all. It's really, really nice. If, if you are enjoying um, the course, by the way, just get down into the comments. Let us know what you think. Let us know the places that you want us to visit as well. I'd love to know about new courses that you might not have heard before. Oh, well, that best cut. Hard. It's in the waste area on the left. Got away with that, didn't we? That could have been a bit nasty if it had gone a little bit more left or a little bit long. I suppose you, unless you get caught up in a bush, the worst places to be. But 120 yards, got 50 degree here. Ball's above my feet, so I'm just going to aim right at the pin. Then if it comes back, that'll be good. Looks like there's a bit of a slope behind, so... Well, that'd be good. Come back down. Oh. Oh, so good. I mean, obviously the greens aren't as quick as they will be, so potentially not quite coming down the slope as we expected, but listen, after the tee shot, can't complain too much. In fact, Kieran, I'll let you read this one for me. Yeah, but I'm gonna go with it, whatever he says. It's always worrying when he's not even looking at the hole. Oh, look at over there. Then. Holes over here, mate. Yeah, yeah. Right, to, so right to left for me. Right, how much? Give, give us a measure. Give us a measurement. Three balls outside. Here we go. This is it, everyone. This is Kieran's read. Yeah. You know what? I think you were right. I needed to hit it harder through this first section. It just slowed up too quick. I think that was a good read, Kieran. Well done, mate. Congratulations, very happy for you. Right. So, we're two under. We've got par three, par five, drivable par four, beautiful little par three, and then a par four to strike fear 
into the bravest of golfers' hearts. Two fifteen into another stunning par three. The par three is here absolutely ridiculous. Like the the seventeenth thing might be my favourite that we saw last night because it's so like small and cute. But this one, only one, first person ever wins off the right with a little bit of help. Five iron here. It's a great strike. Wind's moving a bit left, middle of the green. I mean, on a two 15 yard par three, can't be too disappointed, but I've just got a little bit of a case of the pulse. It's just unlike anything I've ever played before. I'm, I'm struggling to like have any kind of comparison because it's not a Lynx. It is a, I don't know, like what is this categorization of course? What is it, Jacob? What's that? What's this course like categorized as? Uh, so it's not a Lynx. It's got Lynx features. It's not a Parkland, a Dunescape. Yeah. Dunescape, the That's dunes. It. I don't know. I mean, I'll make Dave, the course architect, like all his, all his courses have got dunes in them, apparently. So yeah, maybe, maybe that's what he's trying to do. Oh, Pete. It's just got over halfway. My mind's having a bit of a, a bit of a meltdown here. I need more water. Just realised I've not had a coffee in a long time either. Oh, fuck's it again. It was right on line. Oh, Pete. Frittering away shots, man. Oh, three whack. Not what was required at this stage of the round. Par five next, but we can still get to eight here. Rather embarrassing, the guy who watched us uh, with that, that horrendous three put actually wanted the key to our car because we're blocking the whole greenkeeper compound apparently. So that was good. Par five. Let's get some nervous energy into this one. Massive fairway down to the left hand side. That bunker on the left of the three on the right, if that makes sense. That's 285 to carry. So I'm just going to aim left of that. And if it cuts a bit, that's all right. But my nose has been blown. I can give this a blast. Come on, driver. Let's get these birdies back. Wow, that is big. That is massive. Holy moly. I hope that's not running to the waste area. It bounced on grass. I'm just hoping the rough's held it up a bit. That's flown everything. 176. Just a smooth cut E8 iron. I'm probably force a nine, but come on. Looks like birdies are back on that menu, boys. Keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty safe. Center of the green. Butterfly. I see the Stratford at the rising. Uh, left to right over that slope. Down we go. Is that you singing that song then, Kieran? That's a shame. It's after your job. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it after your job. Have the pace. Have the pace. <laughs> He's missed it the last second. Oh. Oh. Golf, man. Why do we do it? Why do we do it to ourselves? <laughs> I just broke right. At the end. I get over. You're right. You're right. Oh. <laughs> He's not got in. However, that's a birdie. And you know what? We've got a birdie chance next. We've got a birdie chance on 17 and mm, it's kind of 18. So let's finish strong. We are currently, I think, past 71 by the my calculation. So currently on track to shoot 69. Should be good. Yeah, decent. After that stunning near eagle, uh, we've got a drivable par four hit. Now, the, we've made it a bit more drivable, so the back tee's 
all the way back there it's like 350 it's like 310 here and then off the front i don't know it's gonna be about 280 it's just again so many options that it gives you but we thought wind off the right driver in hand so that's about some magic abra cadabra mm, some of golf on the end of it comment below give us a magic spell for golf what do you call a magic dog a labracadabrador <laughs> it's a great joke it's such a good joke right Just at the left edge of the green. Keep out of that bunker. Oh, that looked like a nice kick. Left edge of the green. Man, what a driver. Like you go out and play, the tee boxes, they're not marked. Then you just take your own pine cones out, play the game that you want to play, be much more pleasant, much more friendly. Oh, I smell great as well. Come on, it's time. For another eagle, yes it is, yes it is. 54 degree, just over these little tiny slopes here. It's gonna pitch, there's a little rise just going up to the pin and it's gonna break right to left and in for an eagle. I can see it. Not bad, that's not too bad at all. Got a little friend. Malcolm. Malcolm the ladybug. No, he's on your other finger now. Oh, Malcolm. You know what? Get on my hat. Go on, Malcolm. You're my lucky charm here, mate. Oh, no, he's gone. I've killed him. Oh, he's there as well. You, you are gonna st I'm going to step on you there, though, mate. There we go. Malcolm, you beauty, mate. What a birdie. Ah, oh. yeah, long, is it long for the ride? No, I didn't look. Look how awesome it is. That's just muck. Is it? Mate, we're playing like the sandiest course in the world. We're gonna get dust. Look at my shoes, they're a bit dusty as well. But this boy, look at him. Come on, we'll have, let's have a chat, me and you. Come on. There you go. There we go. What do you think about that? Actually broke a little bit less than I thought. I thought you pushed it. No, I didn't push it. Screw you, Malcolm. Hundred and fifty-five yards. It's downwind, so it's a wedge because it's flying so freaking far out here. Let's see if we can get a shot nice and straight. Been a bit of an issue so far today. Straight down. Come on. That'll be good. Please be good. First hole in one at Comporter. He's not going to be today, but it's pretty decent. Pretty decent and a chance. Chance for a birdie. Is this to get to four under all of a sudden? Like two under after the par five, three under. Yeah, four under. God, if I'd have had those two bogeys, I could have been six. We could have still not been on for the nine under. Oh, no, no, please. What do you think? I've always wanted to flag it on this one. Left edge. Okay. Left edge. Come on, to get to four. Left edge. Left edge. And I'm pretty happy I left the pin in. Because that went in a bit of pace. If that pin had a bit in, I might have hit the back of the hole and come out. So that is a four under going up the 18th. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a last hole to finish. Drama awaits. That way. What is going on? What creative genius comes up with this? Our mate Dave. How you doing then, Jacob? Yeah. You're ready to see this being absolutely launched yeah. down there. There is going to be a massive clubhouse kind of on that 
sand patch up above the 18th green. Just imagine sitting there with a nice cool beverage after a round, discussing all those shots. I think it's gonna look like a castle. No, no. No, I think it's gonna be more like a wooded, kind of blend into the landscape kind of thing. 400 and something yards, <laughs> need to zap it. But it's just a smash drive, straight downwind. I am not hitting a drive better than that. I'll meet you guys down there. I'm just gonna, just gonna soak in this moment. Just try and remember that drive for as long as possible. 112 yards left in up the hill. Can't see the bottom of the pin, so Jacob's gonna go up there. This course, man, I don't think it's just mad. I think it's crazy that like, we're the first people to complete 18. I think they say Paul McGinley, you know, like one shot on the first, something like that. Um, the head pro here, he said he's like, had a little wander around a few holes with a few clubs, but like, to be the first in anything is so cool. And I'm very thankful for you guys for kind of watching because obviously it's that that allows us to visit these places and do these videos. What uh, did I say? That cut of the fairway is literally lining me up as well. First one I've pushed. Where is it? How far did I say? <laughs> I said 112, yeah. right? I'm gonna have to try and compute what's just happened there. Am I in the waste? I'm in the waste. <laughs> it's like they knew. Uh, that was a misjudgment there. Sorry, Jacob. Come all the way up here for nothing. Oh, I was so sure I was gonna hit an absolute corker then as well. I've oh, got some flowers there. Pretty flowers. 100. 12 yards at 50 degree, don't know what happened. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Pretty good, pretty good. Could you uh, pass me the rake, please, just so I don't uh, charge you over everything. That gives me a putt for a 68. That's decent, isn't it? What? No, I'm three under, aren't I? No, three. I could, I could have got to four on this hole. No, I was two under on the par. All right, I get a putt for a 67. Kier Kieran's taking control, so. What's the, what's the read? No, 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 no. Oh, what? no, oh, no. I'm not talking about the read, I'm talking about filming. 67, watch. Boom! Ladies and gentlemen, the new course record at the Dunas Court here at Comporta is 67 shot today by yours truly and my team of caddies, as it turns out. Huge thank you for Comporta for having us down. Massive thank you for watching. Let's go up a bit.